Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Welcome to yet another amazing time with God and with the Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Saturday, 17th of August. Today's theme is No Contradictions in the Bible. Let's read the verse together. 2 Timothy 3 16. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Hallelujah. Now, Pastor Chris says, The Bible is a trustworthy material that contains the inspired word of God and provides guidance and directions for us to live by. Some people, however, try to discredit it by claiming some of its details don't add up. I believe we've all heard this before. We've all heard people say that the Bible, you know, contradicts itself and some of the verses or the things in the Bible doesn't add up. I've heard so many people say this. But let's listen to what Pastor Chris will say about what others are saying about the Bible. So an example is about the resurrection of Jesus. The Bible says, He resurrected on Sunday morning after being in the grave for three days and three nights. So they asked, How could it have been three days and three nights from Friday to Sunday morning, it doesn't add up. So these are some of the things that people try to use as a means to, you know, discredit the Bible. Now, Pastor Chris further says, well, the Bible never said Jesus died on Friday. Some religious people assume this to be so because they read the Bible that Jesus died the day before the Sabbath and know that Saturday was Sabbath. What they didn't know was that the Sabbath in the Bible was referring to wasn't the weekly Sabbath but the Passover Sabbath. Hallelujah. So you can see how Pastor Chris is trying to explain to us that you know what people are using as a means to discredit the Bible they are rather uninformed and Pastor Chris has given us the right thing to know so let's read on this Passover Sabbath was a special event that took place on the 14th day of the month of Nisan every year. It therefore wasn't fixed to any particular day of the week. It's just the same way Christmas is on the 25th of December for most of the world, but 25th of December doesn't fall on a Monday every year. This year, the 14th day of Nissan falls on a Thursday and so Jesus was crucified on a Wednesday the day before the Passover. I believe Pastor Christ is trying to make us understand you know so that we can have that fair idea on the particular day Jesus was crucified and the exact day he resurrected. So now we've all seen that all those that are using that part as a yardstick, you know, they are wrong. You see, mostly people that discredit the Bible, they are they just lack vital information. No, they speak out of ignorance. That is why mostly it's not good for us to you know argue with them when it comes to the scriptures. Because they speak out of ignorance. Let's listen to what Pastor Chris said next. 
the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, let them mention that this was Passover Sabbath. But John clearly stated that the Jewish leaders didn't want their bodies hanging there the next day, which was the Sabbath. And every special Sabbath, because it was Passover week, John 19, 31. The purpose of this isn't to criticize the celebration of Good Friday, no. Rather, to show that Jesus was accurate when he said, For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the fish's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12, 40. This, he was crucified on Wednesday and before dawn on Sunday he had risen. Hallelujah. Let us remember that the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ plays a very vital role in our lives as a Christian. He had risen. This therefore shows that the Bible is trustworthy. You can trust its writings because it's more than a religious book. It's the testimony of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a wonderful word for us today. Now let us have our prayer for today. Dear Father, your word is trustworthy and are true. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I am strengthened, firmly grounded in the accuracy and reliability of the scriptures, for it is profitable for every aspect of my life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. So let us remember that for the Bible is something you can trust. The words in the Bible are profitable for every aspect of our lives because we depend on it to live. And God bless you and I'll see you in the next article. Bye-bye.